Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be updating my frame generation guide for Clay Obscure Expedition 33. We'll be testing the game on my ROG Ally that comes with Windows 11 Radeon 780M GPU based on RDNA 3 architecture. I'll be running the PC Game Pass version of the game. We'll show you how to use the Intate model of FSR 4 upscale in conjunction with XCSS frame generation. XCSS low latency mode will also work. I'll use OptiScaler mod to achieve this. The game officially supports XCSS frame generation, but even after updating the in-game XCSS files to the latest ones, this setting does not become available on ROG Ally. This issue may be limited to the PC Game Pass version of the game. I'm not sure, I haven't tested the Steam version. The game received a free major update just a few days ago in the form of patch 1.5 that added a lot of new content to the game, including a new area called Versus Drafts. In order to access this area, you need to unlock SK's underwater diving ability which is only possible in the third act. The update added support for FSR 4 including AMD temporal upscaling and frame generation for smoother gameplay on compatible GPUs. Anti-lag 2 support has also been added but this is the FP8 model of FSR 4 which is exclusive to RDNA 4 GPUs not going to work on raw Ally that comes with an RDNA 3 GPU but we can replace its DLL file with the DLL file of Intate model of FSR4. This way we will be able to use FSR4 upscaler on RDNA 3 GPUs. Don't need to use OptiScaler mod to achieve this. We can even combine Intate model of FSR4 upscaler with in-game FSR frame generation. The update also includes many improvements for handheld PCs. Prior to this update, I was using D3 D12 proxy on ROG Ally to fix the broken lighting in this game. The problem has been fixed now, addressed here fix multiple fog and lighting issues. This problem occurs in many Unreal Engine 5 games running on Windows PCs with integrated GPUs but good to see developers finally fixing it. I'll be using OptiScaler Mod's latest preview 7 build version 0.920251213. It's available on their Discord server. We'll give the link to their Discord in the description of the video. Just click on the .7z link here. Won't be using DXGI spoofing feature of OptiScaler mod to unlock the in-game DLSS frame generation setting. We'll simply use OptiPatcher to do this. This will help in reducing the mod's overhead. We'll also improve its stability. Just download the latest version of OptiPatcher. It's available on GitHub. I'll give the link to this site in the description. Version 0.38. Expand Asset section. Click on the .asi link. OptiPatcher underscore version 0.38. FSI SDK was leaked 3 months ago. It included files corresponding to the Intate model of FSR4. These files could be used to compile an FSR DLL. Big thanks to Reddit user Athlete Dependent 926 for doing this and sharing the file with the community. Just click on the Go file link here. From this page, you need to download AMD Fidelity FX Subscaler TX12.dll file by clicking on Download here. Cutscenes in this game are still capped at 30 FPS, so I'll simply use Lyle's Clay Obscure Fix. To remove this 30 fps cap it also disables the force end game sharpening you can download it from nexus mods it's free just need to have a free nexus mods account in order to download any stuff from here click on files you just need to download the version of the mod corresponding to the digital store platform on which you own the game i'll be running the pc game pass version of the game so i'll use the xbox version of the mod latest version 0.0.13 if you own the steam or epic games version of the game download the corresponding version of the mod manual download under xbox click on slow download this game's profile does not pop up automatically in adrenaline software need to manually add the game's exe file to adrenaline i'll show you the process open xbox pc app go to your library select the game click on the three dots here click on manage click on files click on browse Need to open the game's install directory, open content folder, open sandfall folder, binaries folder, WinGTK folder. Need to create a desktop shortcut for the game's main exe file. There it is sandfall WinGTK shipping.exe. Select it, right click, show more options, send to, and just click on desktop create shortcut. Alright, done that. There's a desktop shortcut. Now just need to add it to adrenaline, open adrenaline software. Go to its gaming section, click on the three dots here, click on add a game, click on desktop, look for the game shortcut file, starts with S, there it is, select it, click on open, 
now just open the game's profile there it is enable freezing and vsync and just launch the game via adrenaline to load the adrenaline settings by clicking on launch game for this game i have set the uma buffer size to 6 gb my ally is running on bios version 3.4.2 install ls latest official gpu driver optimized for black ops 7 i am using a 27 watts manual profile all 3 power value set at 27 watts cpu boost disabled connected my flight dg vader 4 pro controller to ally via bluetooth mode x input controller and be running the game at 720p resolution and just install Lyle's Clear Obscure Fix, open its archive file, open Sandfall folder, binaries folder, WinGDK folder, select all of the files present inside this directory, copy, just need to paste them in the games install directory, right next to the games main exe file, Clear Obscure Content, Sandfall, binaries, WinGDK, paste the files here, that's it, games, 30 fps cap during the cutscene will get disabled if you want to use frame generation during the cutscenes you need to enable one setting via clay obscure fix.ini open it here yeah, as you can see uncapped cutscene fps setting is enabled by default allow frame gen disable i would not recommend enabling frame generation during cutscenes it can produce some artifacts stick with the default settings close now I'll show you how to install the Intate model of FSR4 Upscaler process is very simple. Just copy its AMD Fidelity FX Upscaler TX12.tll file that you downloaded from Reddit. Need to paste it in the games install directory. Right next to the games main exe file, replace the existing file. Contents, Sandfall, Binaries, WinGDK. Yeah, this file is already present in this directory. This is the FP8 model of FSR4 replace it with the intake model and we are done now we just need to enable the in-game fsr3 upscaler setting this will enable the intake model of fsr4 upscaler on rock ally and other pcs with rdna3 gpus just make sure you do not select the quality preset of fsr4 otherwise you will observe very ugly shimmering around the vegetation the grass also some ghosting around your character model basically select any preset other than quality I'll be using balance preset of FSR4. Even native anti-lazing works fine. First I'll test the game without OptiScaler mod. Showcase FSR4, Intate Upscaler and the in-game FSR frame generation. We start the game. I'll be running the game in Xbox full screen experience mode. Ally restarted. Just open Adrenaline by pressing its hotkey combo Alt and R keys. There it is. I'll use its performance only to show you the performance stats won't be using Afterburner. And just open the game's adrenaline profile click on launch in game settings just set the upscaler to fsr it will activate the intake model of fsr4 i'll run the game using fsr4's quality preset this will produce some artifacts it will verify that the intake model of fsr4 upscaler is working in game fsr frame generation disabled for the time being reflex make you find anti lag to on no FPS cap applied, vsync off, display mode set to borderless window required for using XCFG. All of the post processing effects are disabled. Post process setting set to low, rest of the setting set to medium. This is the game running at 720p resolution. I'll enable anti lag to latency monitor by pressing the hotkey combo Alt Shift and L. Keep pressing the combo. There is the real time latency value. I am in versus draft region and oh my god look at the ugly shimmering produced around the grass during fast visual motion it's due to the incorrect model of FSR4 being used to fix this issue simply change the upscaler's preset to anything other than quality I'll just use balance resume the game now observe the grass yeah even during fast visual motion no shimmering is produced around the vegetation resume the game now observe the grass yeah even during fast visual motion no shimmering is produced issue has been fixed no ghosting is produced around our character model 
just run around this place FPS it's within a range of 34 to 40 big open area latency value 60 to 70 milliseconds it depends on the base FPS higher the base FPS lower the latency gestures they are chilling not hostile animation quality is looking a bit choppy as expected we are outside alas we are a range that is 48 to 120 okay i'll just enable in game fsr frame generation now amd fsr frame generation enable apply resume the game here fps increase to around 65 60 to 70 and check out the added amount of smoothness animation quality it's looking much smoother than before when we had the game running without FSR frame gen. No posting is produced on versus character model. Latency, it's manageable 75 to 80. I'll highlight the artifacts produced by FSR frame gen. Makes our character shadow look bit blurry. Just observe Luna's shadow here. Yeah, it's looking blurry. see and some ghosting is produced around Luna's feet close to the bottom edge of the display right here it's a bit difficult to highlight the artifact let me try this again yeah there's the ghosting around the feet see XCFG does not produce these artifacts 60 to 70 fps ok now i'll show you how to install optiskiller mod exit the game switch to desktop mode open optiskiller mods archive file select the highlighted files optiskiller.ini mods configuration file optiskiller.dll mod loader file libxcss underscore fg.dll xcss frame generation file libxcss.tll xcss super resolution file for tx12 and vulkan apis libxcll.tll xcss low latency mode file fake nv api.ini and fake nv api.tll fake nv api will replace the in-game reflex implementation with xcss low latency mode already installed entate model of fsr4 right click copy need to paste these files in the games install directory Click on the three dots here, manage files, browse, game folder, content, sandfall, binaries, win JDK, paste everything here. Now we just need to change the name of optiscalar.tll file to txgi.tll. Select the file, right click, rename, type txgi. Now just open. Optiscalar.ini file need to tweak a few settings. This game officially supports DLSS frame generation and a streamlined version newer than version 2. So I'll be using DLSS GUI streamline as the frame generation source for enabling XCFG. This way we won't be required to deal with hardfix. Just set FG input to DLSSG. It corresponds to DLSS frame generation mentioned above. Set FG output to XCFG which corresponds to XCSS frame generation. In this way XCSS low latency mode will also work. Scroll down until you find spoofing section. You just need to set DXGI to false. There's spoofing section. Under it look for a line named TXGI and set to false. This will disable TXGI spoofing. We are not done yet. Scroll down until you find plugin section just set load asi plugins to true now optiskiller mod will be able to load opti patcher which is an asi file click on file save close create a new folder in the directory where you install optiskiller mod name it as plugins in this folder we need to paste opti patcher's asi file grab it opti patcher underscore version 0.38 dot asi file download it from github open the games install directory content 
sandfall binaries win gdk plugins folder paste the file here and we are done i'll switch to xbox full screen experience mode and let us start it open adrenaline software enable adrenaline's performance overlay open the game's adrenaline profile launch the game in game settings upscale is still set to fsr using its balance preset just do not use its quality preset any other preset will work just fine here we have access to nvidia frame generation there you go just set it to two times dlss frame generation setting reflex on display mode borderless window rest of the settings same as before apply go back to the menu press insert keyboard key to open optiscale menu there it is increase its size by clicking on the drop down bar next to menu us scale set the value to 1.2 upscaler use xcss 2.0.2 input in game fsr upscaler dxgs spoofing off your opti patcher is working you can see op is mentioned here at the top of the mod menu i'll switch to fsr 4 upscaler click on the drop down bar next to change upscaler and select fsr 3.x as the option click on change upscaler again your intake model of fsr 4 is working model setting set to default automatically selected model 2 for me yeah this build of opti scaler selects the correct model even for the int 8 version of fsr 4 that's good to see i'll enable opti scaler's performance overlay expand fps overlay section check the setting fps overlay enable full plus graph scale 1.3 base resolution 753 by 424 pixels upscale to 720p XCL is mentioned under frame rate section. Okay, I'll enable XCFG now. Just check the setting active. If you check the debug view setting, you will see these purple side bars. This means XCFG is working. Uncheck the setting. Click on save and I close. We need to restart the game. Otherwise, a character, rather I should say, a character model will flicker. Quit. Launch game. Load the same sequence. And check out the grass. Yeah, no shimmering is produced around it. Using fast visual motion, no artifacts are produced around the character model. Floating particles in the environment. Don't leave any ghosting trail. Nothing significant. Just run around this place. Observe a shadow. Games UI elements they are not flickering. Yes, we have to learn here. My characters floating. Yeah, her shadow is not flickering. See, with XCFG. And just observe her feet close to the bottom edge of the display. No significant ghosting is produced around it. FPS is within a range of 60 to 70. And roughly the same performance that we were getting with. FSR frame gen. Okay, I'll engage in combat. Controls feel very responsive with XCFG. All thanks to XCSS low latency mode. Attack these things. Let them attack me. Just want to execute Perry. Distinct charge towards me. Perfect counter. FPS stays within a range of 55 to 70. Okay, summon some candies. Apply a shield around this creature. Not sure what that was. Lollipop attack. Perfect counter. Very good results produced by Optiscaler XCFG. 50 to 60 FPS during combat. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.